4. New Day Northwest is back. Now, from the AAA Travel Alcove, here's Margaret Larson. Hey there, whether you're Italian or just love Italian culture, we've got an event you're going to want to attend happening at Seattle Center this weekend. Here to tell us what Festa Italiana is all about is Dennis Cadriola. It's so good to see you again. Thank you, Margaret. Good to see you. I just got back from Italy last week. Wow. So I'm super excited about continuing. There you go. Come on enjoy. down to the festival and uh, enjoy everything, everything Italian. Everything there is. All and weekend long. Everything is everything. Tell us about the array of activities it's and things to eat and drink. It's amazing how much we managed to cram into two days. Uh, starting with eating and drinking, of course, there's always the pizza and the pasta and mm -hmm. all of the good stuff. But this year we're featuring uh, a food truck called Manja Me, which is getting yes. rave reviews around town. And Maggiano's Little Italy from yeah. Bellevue is going to have a stand there uh, selling some real delectable items. So awesome. the food is great. Um, there's lots to do for the family, from pizza tosses to grape stomping. Uh, we have an Italian opera for kids this year. Oh, that sounds um, fun. We're going to do Hansel and Gretel, which is actually a German opera, but nevertheless, it's in English. And uh, it's got a great witch in it that looks like something right out of Bewitched. Um, she's sensational. Uh, and then there's the car show, then there's the historical Gosh. photo exhibit, uh, then there's the cooking demonstrations that go on all weekend, nonstop, from noon to six, each day, Saturday right. and Sunday. Such style and such mm -hmm. culture and so much to learn. So whether you're Italian or not, you're going to oh, have a great fun, great, great fun, great time there. And so there's going to be a dog show as well. There will be a dog show, you bet. So naturally, we needed more dogs, as we always do on this show. There are Italian dogs. These are all Italian dogs. And we're going to get to see them right now. So let's yes. have dog number one. I believe this is Roman. Come on out. That is correct. This is Look Sarah Evans with her Italian greyhound. Um, <laughs> we even have Roman. a musical sound bed you might not be able to hear. And he's one <laughs> year old. Um, Sarah, in, in her own That's case, cute. has eight Italian greyhounds. Wow. And they will all be at Festa over the weekend, both Saturday and Sunday. All of this is, of course, free for people to come and meet these animals and pet them. And uh, it's a great, great feature of our, Look at our his show. Collar. He's just styling. That's awesome. Thank you very much. I think dog number two is Bosco. Bosco is my dog, and bringing him out will be my uh, daughter, Jada. Look how much she's grown. Indeed. Last time she was on this show, she was tossing pizzas. But she was teensy. She was teensy. She could barely get them over her head. <laughs> uh, so Bosco is 10 months old. His real name Hi, is Boscaiolo, which means woodsman or forester. And he is a Legotto Romagnolo from Emilia Romagna in Italy. Uh, in fact, his grandsire came over from a town called Lagone uh, just two generations ago. So, he is gorgeous. Um, I don't know if I've seen a breed like that before. They are the precursor or the cousin of the French Poodle, uh -huh. the uh, Portuguese Water Retriever, and the Irish Water Dog. So wow. uh, you can see that, that, that hair instead of fur, yep. and it's an animal that does not uh, smell when it's get, it gets wet. So these are the kind of non-allergenic breeds very that people much talk so. about. Yes. Um, Beautiful dog. Raised and bred as water retrievers, but now they're more famous as truffle hunters. <gasps> my new favorite thing. Okay. My new favorite thing. <laughs> oh my gosh, a truffle dog. We love it. Okay, so our, then we have a pair of dogs, Biama and Fonzarelli, yep. are coming out. We'll see you, Bosco. Go get some truffles, baby. Those things are pretty good. So next up, we have Jennifer Toby with uh, two Brock. <laughs> I hear some Italiano. growling. I hope everything's okay. Here we go. There they are. Uh, the big fellow on the left yeah. is uh, uh, Fonzarelli, better known as the Fonz the or Fonz. Fonzie. Yeah. Uh, and his little sister is Fiamma. And she is only uh, six months old. Uh, Fonz is about seven years old. And these are real big game hunting animals. They are born and bred. You know, one thing about it, uh, all dogs from cultures in other lands is they only became pets within the last hundred yeah. years or They've so. They've had jobs. They had them. jobs. They were a working member of the family. So uh, these animals are used to go after wild boar. They go after deer. And they're especially good with pheasants because they're pointers and they can, they can stride with a moving bird and then freeze in point. Wow. Um, uh, very wonderful to have these animals this year because uh, 
uh, you don't see many bracci italiani in, in uh, the Pacific Northwest. No, so, it's yeah, really we're cool. Delighted and Fonzie to have has them. the most delightful bark. He sounds like um, yes. he should do some voice work. We'll record <laughs> his bark, and that will be your security device right. because it's a very deep, uh, deep he bark. Thank bite. you, guys. That's a fun okay. thing to do at the festival. What Thank about you? you? I mean, you've been doing this a while. What's your favorite part? This is my 26th year. I, I, what I really do it for is the music. And that's something we don't put on TV or talk about a lot, right. but we have nonstop Italian music, both in one of the wine and beer gardens and on a main stage. And this is a chance for Italian and Italian-American and even people from Sweden to play Italian music live in public to an audience that really appreciates it. A lot of this material is uh, music going back to the 1800s, wow. but then there's also modern Euro pop stuff too. Um, and we've got some 15 different acts. Again, it's from 10 in the morning till 6 o'clock at night on Sunday. On Saturday, we go till 8 or 9. Uh, lots of uh, wonderful Italian music for young people, for old people, all kinds of stuff. And you can eat and watch music. And we have a beer and wine garden in there, too. You can even have a glass of vino. I was about to ask about that, because that, of you course, bet. is part of the festival. What's the easiest place to park, or, or what, what's your advice for it's getting It's getting there? more difficult every day, but uh, believe me, in two years, when uh, the new Key Arena is finished, it's going to be impossible. So come now. <laughs> um, there is uh, street parking to be found. It's a little hard to seek out. but. In that area, they are expanding more and more parking garages, particularly in office buildings, and they're leaving them open on weekends so okay, to accommodate those crowds. So get so. there early yeah. or take public transportation, whatever's easy. That's always a good idea. The Thank monorail you so much. goes straight there, too. Awesome. So. That's good. You can park at the other end and yeah. monorail in. Thank exactly. you. I'm just Thank really you. hungry now that we've talked about this. Remember, Festa Italiana is this weekend, September 29th and 30th at the Seattle Center from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. each day. We have a link with more details on New Day's homepage for you. And up next, how you can really refresh the exterior of your home. We'll be right back. We train.